Hi everyone, today on PC for Beginners, we're gonna give you some easy tips and tricks to help you improve the performance of your machine and maybe tidy things up a little bit from a software perspective. The good news is it's all gonna be completely free. We're only using tools that are native to Windows and maybe one free utility that you need to download. We'll see. Anyway, to make sure we know what we're talking about, we've invited the professor of all knowledge to help get us clued up on what we need to do. All right, let's go. So the first thing you need to do is you can click on the Explorer on your PC. And if you click on this PC, you will see at the bottom here, all of your drives. So here on this PC, we have two drives, a C drive and a D drive. And we have 232 gigabytes of this drive and 104 of them are free. While on this drive, we have a devilish 666 gigabytes free. And what you can actually do also is if you right click on the drive, and you click on properties, you'll get more information about these big numbers that we have free on the drive. And the simplest way to actually go and clear up some space on the drive is to hit the start button and type in uninstall. And there's on Windows 10, it's called apps and features. We can click on that. And what it would do, it will load up all of the applications that you have installed. And these are more formal applications that have registered themselves with Windows. And we can sort them by size. So we can figure out what is the biggest thing on your hard drive right now. And it's currently the Adobe Media Encoder. So let's just install that. No, <laughs> Hamish will be mad if we do that. Uh, so you can see them and they're sorted by size. Another thing you can do, uh, if you still need more space, is there, there are applications out there that will uh, show you big files on your hard drive, or basically also files on your hard drive. Uh, we have one called Stat, And here that application is. And what you can do is you can either do for all drives, or in this case, we will do the individual drive. You can click OK. It will take a little bit of time, maybe not as fast as, as this one. Uh, and what it's doing is each cube in Winterstadt is a file. So here, this red one with this nice shading effect, is a lot of smaller files. And this one here, this big cube over here, is one file. And what you can do is you can click on the folders and you can find out what folders are taking up most space. Here's the games folder, shocking. You can click here, also the Ubisoft folder, but you can see that the box Got a little smaller if you open up that one. And here we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is this cube over here. You can also click on the files to figure out what are the files that are taking up space. Here's some data file for Rainbow Six, 20 gigabytes. So here you can also find these hidden secret files that are taking up space. Maybe that one file you downloaded and you didn't remember where you put it. So those are kind of the the simple ways to go and erase uh, files from your drive and get some space back. So another point to note is be careful what you delete. Uh, if you're absolutely sure you know what's in there, like these are the game files or these are the application that I want to remove, that is fine. So if you have personal files, something in maybe in either the desktop, which we need to clean up, uh, this document, uh, my documents or any other location, of course, be careful uh, so you don't delete them. Um, there's also questions about, oh, I used Winterstat and, and I found this big file, but it's in the Windows folder or some other folder I don't know. Uh, should I delete it? Generally, the answer is no. Don't delete it. Be safe out there. One thing, though, if there are a lot of system files that you have that you would like to clean up, there is an application called Disk Cleanup. Uh, by, it's built into Windows itself. You can click on the, the C drive here and a recommendation to actually click on clean up system files. And what this will do is this will safely go through and clean up the files that you have that are tagged as system files. So here are some memory dumps and some mini dumps and whatever. And in this case, I would clean up about one gigabyte. So if you would want to clean up some system files, this is a safe way to do it. 
So yes, deep fracking can help you optimize your PC, but there's one big caveat. You need to have an old spinny hard drive. Uh, the reasoning is, think of uh, a hard drive like that, like a record player or like a record. When you write something to that file, uh, to that drive, uh, it is written into sectors. So we want to write one file, it's written to a sector, write another file, it's written to another sector. And this is fine at the beginning, and then when you write and you delete, write and delete, the operating system and the hard drive needs to find open sectors to write into. And what deep fracking is doing is basically reordering so there are more open sectors, and also when you're reading from the hard drive, it can read things linearly. Uh, so deep fracking can help, but you need to have an old, basically spinny drive. You hit Windows, defrag, uh, and since these are all solid state drives, we don't have the defrag option, but it will be down here to click on defrag. And this can actually take quite a while. Um, and yes, that can help. On these uh, drives, since they're solid state, we have the option to optimize. This is basically a command being sent to the SSD drive to clean up files that actually hasn't been deleted and, and all that. Um, it won't help as much. It is being run automatically by Windows, but if you have an older drive, that's a, like a spinning platter, deep racking can help. So if it's slow during startup, that's actually a pretty simple solution. You can hit Shift, Control, Escape, or you can go into Start and do Start Up, and to see which processes start up automatically when you start Windows. And there you would have a list of all the applications that start up, and you can also sort by the startup impact, uh, which is measured by Windows. Um, you are totally safe to disable all of these. That is totally fine. Uh, if I click on here, IQ, disable, and then now that is disabled and will not start up when I start up my PC. Do note though that you're not uninstalling the program or anything like that. You're just disabling it starting at Windows Startup. And if you want to actually run the program, you could just run the program. Yes, so updated drivers can help speed up your PC. Uh, as Windows updates, uh, Windows will add new features that then a device driver update can actually help. Uh, device manufacturers can actually find bugs or, or performance problems within your device. So updating the, the device drivers can actually very be very beneficial. So uh, a nice way to see a list of all your devices is to type in Windows and go to Device Manager. And this will actually give you a list of all the devices that are installed on your computer, at least the ones Windows detects. So if you click here on the disk drives, we have our Samsung SSD hard drives. And what you can do is you can right-click on it and click Update Driver. And this will search automatically for the driver software. Um, if you have software from the manufacturer, or if you know where the device uh, drivers are online, you can also use that method to update it. But yes, updating the drivers is important. So sadly, no. It, it most likely will not. Uh, and as you can see here, we have quite the messy desktop. Uh, and what you should basically be doing is you click on view, a right click and click on view. Uh, you can actually hide everything, which will also remove the wallpaper in our instance. Some bug going on, but that's fine. Uh, but if I show the desktop icons, I can actually right click again, sort by name, and it's a little nicer. So there are two quick things we can actually do. Uh, one of them, and it is important for desktops, but it also is quite important for laptops. It is the power settings. You can type in, uh, hit start, type in power, you get power and sleep, and there's additional power settings. And here you can actually set a power plan to be either balanced, recommended, or high performance. And this will actually control how the CPU is handled during, uh, during high load. And the other one is performance. And here you can actually adjust the visual performance for Windows itself. So Windows has a lot of effects. Like if you click on start, it will have like this little uh, smooth animation when it comes up. And you can actually disable all of these. If you click on adjust for best performance, it will also again take away our wallpaper. But now things uh, are basically less performance intensive for Windows uh, based things. All right, hopefully you learned something useful today, but if you didn't and you want us to cover something else in an upcoming PC for Beginners video, let us know in the comments below and we'll hook that up as soon as we can. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.